OK, so as the title of this video may have clued you into, this video is going to be a little different from your standard Mushkukum fare. Apparently, I've been making some waves around this whole measure total problem in Power BI, and I've upset some people. Well, too bad. I've been pleasant and towed the party line for seven years. I'm just done with it. I'm done with being part of the problem. And honestly, I don't understand this reaction by some people. I can't imagine anything less controversial than stating that Power BI measure totals are completely and utterly stupid and broken. But regardless, in this video, I'm going to lay out very clearly the case for fixing the stupid, broken measure totals in Power BI table and matrix visuals. And I'm going to address all of the criticisms. So buckle up. <laughs> so first, why do I care about this issue? That's simple. I care deeply about Power BI, and I particularly care about new users of Power BI and user adoption of Power BI. This issue, measure totals, this single issue, is probably one of the top three hurdles for new users and barriers to adoption, quite possibly the top barrier. The other two being this insistence around star schemas and calculate, when probably 80% of all Power BI data models are single table data models anyway, my opinion. All right, so let's move on to making the case for why measure totals are broken and stupid and should at least, the very least, provide an option for summing the rows. Number one, human beings naturally expect that when they see a column of numbers and there's a row labeled total, that the said total is the sum of the numbers in the column. We humans have been conditioned to this for over hundreds, if not thousands of years. I will bet you that if you go back 4,000 years, that there is an ancient Mesopotamian tablet lying around somewhere with a total that sums the rows. Now, my surveys on this bring back that 95% of people expect this behavior. So that's already the vast majority of people out there. But I can assure you that the people that answered that they don't expect it are 100% lying through their teeth. Okay, number two. As mentioned, the expected behavior and every piece of software in all of recorded human history that displays a total in a row labeled total has that total sum the rows of the table, going all the way back to SuperCalc. Tableau, Tableau might be an exception to this, but at least it provides non-coding options for addressing it in terms of level of detail. Then we have Power BI that doesn't sum the rows and provides no options. All right, number three, given one and two, just how many measure totals are floating around out there that are wrong and people don't even realize it? Because who really checks a total these days? Of course it's the sum of the rows, except now it's not. So that's a huge problem. Okay, number four, the literal definition of the word total is a product of addition sum. Thus, by definition, what Power BI does is not a total. And you can't just willy nilly and for no good reason, change the definition of the word total. What Power BI does can only be called an all or an all selected, and an all is not a total. And if you want an all for your table, you could simply create a card visual and stick it over the total number. Easy. Number five, and this is a big one. Stacked visuals in Power BI display the correct total. You can see it on your screen. This fact right here was the final straw for me. You see, I don't use a lot of stack visuals in my reports because I tend to find them ugly. They're like a, an even worse version of a pie chart, in my opinion. So I don't use them. But I was messing around one day and happened to convert a table to a stack column chart. And when you know it, there was a correct measure total staring me in the face. I was like, wait, what? You see, I had always been told and I kind of accepted the mantra. Well, it's DAX and DAX calculates totals in the context of all except here was proof positive that that was a complete and utter lie, total lie. And this is what drives me crazy. So the solution for measure totals is just sitting there in stacked visuals. Copy the code, paste it into the table and matrix visuals, add a toggle, done. Meaning that at any point in the last seven plus years, Microsoft could have fixed this issue in a single sprint, one month, at any time. OK, so now we've come to the criticisms. That I received on this topic. The first up is the is this really an issue, Greg? Criticism. Let me assure you that, yes, this really is an issue. Anecdotally, 
I probably answer on average three or four wrong total questions every single day I am on the forums. And I have done this for the last seven years. Seven years. Talk about the definition of insanity. In fact, if you search for wrong total and site colon community.powerbi.com, you will get back over 17,000 results. So let's see, 17,000 divided by 365 divided by seven years, that's an average of over six posts per day. Or you could say that every four hours, on average, someone is posting about a wrong measure total in the forums. And that's just the number of people that A, realize that their total is wrong, and B, bother to post to the community site. So I would bet you that with the right telemetry, you could probably prove that every single minute of every single day, someone somewhere is struggling with a measure total in Power BI. So yes, issue, Google it, wrong total Power BI, over 17 million results. Next criticism. Well, what if I need it to work the way it does today? This one's easy. The posted idea that I link to isn't about replacing the way totals are calculated. It's about providing options. Nobody's taking away the ability to return stupid total results. Think of it as a toggle labeled stupid, and that stupid toggle can have a def default to on. And when you need your, most, your totals to actually work and provide real totals, you sim simply switch off the stupid. Now, do I think that summing the rows should be the default? Absolutely. Again, 95% or more people expect it. Moving on, and this one was brought up by uh, Joel Lake Lakey, um, is actually a reasonable concern, right? Performance. So let's say you slap a million rows into a table and Power BI has to do the calculation on every row to get the total. Sure, that could be a severe performance issue. However, first, it's a contrived edge case. I still say that 80% or more of Power BI data models are small data models consisting of a single table, so likely not going to be a problem in the vast majority of cases. But what if it is? Simple. We've already seen the fix Power BI has for this. What does Power BI do when there are too many data points? You get the little exclamation icon. So simple way to address this. There are too many rows in the table and the total calculation is going to take too long. Then don't display the total. Display the little exclamation mark. Simple. <laughs> Guess what? This is exactly what stack visuals do. So again, the code is already there in the product. I'll show you. Okay, so here's my proof that measure totals are broken that I used in my last video. You can see they're all correct and tables are broken. All right, so I created a new table. And let me go over here, over here. And okay, so I just did a generate series from one to a thousand. When 10,000 uh, increments of one, I converted that to a text column. I created a value, ran between one and 100, right? And I put that into a stacked visual, the ugliest visual on the planet. And, and, and here, here's the little exclamation icon, or I guess it's an eye icon or you know information icon, whatever, uh, upside down exclamation mark. <laughs> and too many values, not showing all data. Click to see details, right? It, it still displays a total here, right? Um, and there's all my, you know, you know, there's all my values and whatever it is, you know, and they all still work, I guess. Um, but anyway, so there's already a solution to the problem. And the interesting part about this, I have this on this exact solution. I bring it up on a different uh, computer um, that I created. It's kind of underpowered. And it's interesting because like if I go to visualizations on that computer for that scenario, this isn't even there. Same version of Power BI Desktop, same everything. So it's either a glitch or there's some code in there that's saying, look, this computer doesn't even have the horsepower to display a total in these circumstances. So don't even give them the option to turn it on. I don't know which one it is, but again, the solution exists. All right, another doozy that I don't understand this. Well, Greg, your scenario of minus five is crap. <laughs> and then they go and say, they name a single scenario where you can't always get a measure total to return the blah, blah, blah. Okay, so people, there are literally thousands, if not tens of thousands, if not millions of these scenarios where we just want the total to sum the rows. I used a straightforward and simple one to reinforce the point that 
any measure that is even mildly complicated can exhibit this issue. But sure, let's take the scenario that I stole from finance-bi.com on fixing measure totals. They have an article there. And in that article, they're trying to calculate the total cost of a 5% incentive for salespeople that sell more than $80,000. Is that real world enough for you? Let's do it. So I have my sales table. My sales table is very simple. Manage, I have manager, I have my salesperson, I have my product that they're selling, I have the amount of sales that they sold in those products for that salesperson. And I also have this color, you know, red, green, when, you know, what the color of the product is. Okay, let's do, go to page three. All right, so here I have a simple table visual. I have my salesperson, I have my some of my sales. And so I, you know, I'm your average Joe user. I want to create a measure that says if the sum of the sales is greater than 80,000, then sum the sales times 5%, you know, otherwise return zero. Okay, so let's see what happens here when I add this into my table. Well, here we have 4,500, that's correct. 5,000, that's correct. Not correct, right? Should be 9,500, but it's taking 5% of 250,000, okay? And so I get the wrong answer, you know? All of a sudden, I've just, you know, overpaid, you know, a bunch of money to my salespeople. Um, it's bad. Okay, so how do we get the correct total? Okay, so in the example uh, on the article, they do something like this, where they do a summarize of the sales table by salesperson. They add in a sales column, some of the sales, and then do a sum X. Then they filter the table where the sales is greater than 80,000. And if and they multiply that by 0.5, by 5%. Okay, so now I can add this into my table. And hey, I've got my, you know, we got 4,500, 5,000. I got my correct total here. But what if I also want to see product? I want to see what sales, what uh, my salespeople are actually selling in this table as well. So I'm going to drag product over here. Oh, look, <laughs> well, my total's right. This one's right. But these two rows are wrong. Okay, and this 5,000 doesn't sum up to 9,500. <sighs> okay, so let's try to fix that. All right, so we do some stuff. Get the salesperson, get the product, summarize our table, create another table. This so is a select columns where we're getting our salespeople. We add a column to the to the summarize, blah, blah, blah. And then we do a sum X and, and all of this fun jazz, right? So, okay, so let's add that to our table. And now we have the correct rows, but no our total, we don't have a total. And that's because the max in that case is giving the salesperson one, or I don't know what it's doing, but it's not right. Okay, so back to the drawing board. Let's get uh, let's get this version. This version is the same as the last one, but I do a if is in scope salesperson, then I do a sum of X, or I filter out with the salesperson the product. Otherwise, I do a sum of X across the whole table, right? Let's add that one to our model. And now, yay, finally, we have 3,000, 5,000, adds up to 9,500. But what if, you know, my real problem is I have an excess inventory of red product. So I only want to offer the incentive for red. So I have a little slicer here, and I filter down for red, and it's wrong again. This is the literal hell that Power BI users, the average Power BI user goes through every single day, every single day, right? Whereas if, if the measure total just summed the rows, right? I could create something as simple as this, grab my max salesperson, some X salesperson, if the sum is greater than 80,000, then I want to grab the sum of the sales times 5%, right? I could do something as simple as this without all that other nonsense. And I'd get back 3,000, 1,500. And this, if it actually just summed the rows, would be 4,500, right? And if I didn't have red selected, I get my 3,000, 1,500, 5,000. If it just summed the rows, right, I'd have my 9,500. I wouldn't have to worry about it. And this is why, this is why I measure totals utterly destroys self-service BI in Power BI. It utterly destroys it, okay? Because you cannot construct a measure that will work and return a correct total under every possible conceivable scenario in which a report user 
might want to construct a table or filter it by certain filters. It's impossible. You'd have a DAX measure the size of War and Peace if you tr even tried to do it. Okay, so this, this is why. This is why it needs to be fixed. It, it's just literally so painful for users. Okay, so what's next? Oh, yeah. Uh, so why are you so mean and a bully, Greg? Throwing around words like broken and stupid. It's by design, after all. Well, okay, the stupidest software design decision in the entire history of stupid software design decisions, with the possible exception of AOL's You've Got Mail, voice prompt. But sure. Look, bottom line, I call them like I see them. If something is stupid, it's stupid. If something is broken, it's broken. Simple as that. No excuses. All right. Last one. A few people out there have taken particular offense to the means and the way I'm going about trying to affect change. Oh, Greg, why can't you start the discussion in a normal way? Oh, Greg, you're being immature. Blah, blah, blah. Look, I've been acting mature on this issue for at least the last seven years. Crickets. Seven years of Microsoft doing absolutely nothing to address the issue of measure totals. So now it's come to this, people. If reason and logic and truth about the definition of the word total and pleading and you name it, if it can't get the job done in over seven years, well then, we're going to go with the memes at this point. And for everyone out there that feels this way about my approach, let me be crystal clear about something. Crystal clear. I want you to imagine the thing that you care least about in this world. Maybe you're sitting on a beach and there's a random grain of sand and you don't particularly care about that grain of sand. Maybe it gets blown away in the wind, washed out to sea, or accidentally swallowed by a crab. Who cares? Now next, I want you to imagine the thing in this world that you can possibly conceive of a human being caring the least about. Let's say some speck of dust orbiting an unknown star somewhere out there in the universe. Nobody can possibly care about that because nobody even knows it exists. OK, so picture that you're in, in your head, the least amount that a human can possibly care about something. I care less than that. Less. So save your breath. I care less about your opinion than you can even possibly comprehend. So what do I care about? Fixing measure totals. Vote, please. The link is in the description.